Okay guys, we're all good. I was panicking a little bit because I thought there would be static, but I checked on the body of the PSU and no static whatsoever, so we're good to go. This means that the PSU and the case is perfectly fine. I'm not going to get any shock whatsoever. So what's going to happen next is I'm going to wait, have some lunch first, and then come back. Also, my CPU cooler hasn't arrived yet, so I might have to wait for that. But I can do the motherboard and the, and the CPU and the RAM in and then wait for the cooler. Or I could just wait for the cooler and do everything at once. I, don't have it, I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm still thinking. But um, I'll see you guys in the next part, okay? Peace. All right, guys. I've made a decision, finally. I know you guys can't see me except for you guys over here, but um, my CPU cooler still hasn't arrived yet, and I can't wait any longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the motherboard and put the CPU and the RAM inside and put it inside the case so I can wait for my CPU cooler and install it at the end. Uh, before I install the graphics card because the graphics card always goes at the end uh, at the last so um, I'm gonna first take my motherboard outside this guys is the Asus ROG Strix Z370 F gaming I talked to you guys about this the other day and it's a wonderful wonderful motherboard if I can open it like this show you guys this way what it is it'll be pretty awesome so more zip ties i'm gonna put them over here optical disc who uses these optical drives anyway i mean as a matter of fact for those guys who do not know this case does not have an optical uh it's not actually compatible with an optical drive there is no optical drive um portion here it's it, and honestly that was something that i did risk not using because sometimes here and there I might use a, uh, a watch a movie on a disc or something but that's pretty rare and I do have a, an Apple external optical drive so I can just connect that up via USB so this isn't a big issue as a matter of fact it's better for me less cables so here we have a um, I'm not sure what this is as a matter of fact I can't see oh it is okay it's an HB bridge we won't be needing the bridge but we will be needing um, now this is for the CPU AMD you guys know for a fact that I'm not using an AMD uh, CPU I'm using an Intel CPU which is already pre-installed so I don't have to worry about that this is the IO shield many beginners forget the IO shield I am not gonna be a beginner like that I'm not gonna make those mistakes all these standard cables um, the manual instruction manual very important and some screws which I might be I will be needing <laughs> I might got some stickers this is a um, quick tip on how to install the fans and all that but I won't be needing that that's a fan holder I will be needing this and uh, also a cable mod 20% off discount kind of thing but we don't got cable mod here in um, Indonesia so that's kind of not useful for me I'm gonna put all this here right now because I won't be needing some of these or most of these stuff. So you can go here, dude. You can go down over and join the, the power supply. Thank you. Um, let's take a good look at the motherboard here. I'm going to take this up. You wanna be careful with the motherboard. You don't wanna make any mistakes. It is wrapped in anti-static wrap, so I don't have to worry about anything really. Oh, I don't know why I put that back there. Come here. I need something to put this on top of. Okay, I'm going to take the anti-static wrap off and put this on top of it. You don't want to touch any metal parts of the motherboard, which is what I'm really scared about because it could be very, very fragile. I think I'm doing this wrong, but I think we should be fine. Let's put this on top here and we should be good to go. So this, guys, is where the CPU goes. What you guys want to do is lift this over here, okay, and pull it back up. That's as simple as that. This is where the CPU goes in. And this is where we need to take our CPU off. And I'm going to use this camera to open this. So this is the i7 8700K CPU. Where is my... There is my knife. Woo! Wonderful. 
Now the CPU, you want to be careful with the CPU. You don't want to touch it everywhere, especially in the middle. You do not want to touch it in the middle. As a matter of fact, you're going to be really careful to only touch it on the sides. Okay, because this could be a huge issue if you touch it in the middle. All right, so here we have the chip. The chip, I'm going to show it to you guys. This is the i7-8700K okay, chip. It's a very cool chip. If I can zoom it in, I don't know if you guys can see it carefully. There you are. It says all the specs over there. Okay, now you're going to be really, really careful with this because this, this could go wrong in a lot of ways. All right, dudes. Okay. No, okay. Come over here then. Don't do anything. Just stand there and... Woo! Okay. Guys, what you got to do here is you can see that there is a golden triangle on the right side here. Well, for me, it's left. For you guys, it's right. You're going to align this with the um, a triangle that will be here somewhere. Okay, so on this side of the motherboard, there is a, a curve, and that is where you want to drop the i7 chip, just like that. And you can close it back, you can, you can take this off, you're supposed to take it off beforehand. Actually, no, I'll put this in first. You're going to want to, oh boy, no, actually, yeah, this, you should have gone off before. I know. Okay, there you are. All right, you will feel some pressure here, but that's perfectly normal. <sighs> Finally, guys, CPU is inside the motherboard. We are actually done with the CPU. So the good thing about the CPU cooler is that it comes with pre-applied thermal paste. So I don't have to put any thermal paste on this, which is really, really good for me. And um, it's just, it's really good. So now what we're gonna do next is put our RAM on because the RAM is an important aspect of the, um, thing so i'm gonna have to open this up as well we got to take this knife and open there you are <sighs> okay we have a sticker here a uh, pretty nice sticker but we have the ram and the ram is pretty simple it's just plug and play so the tricky part here is where you put the ram and um you have it says over here b1 b2 a1 a2 oh i think that's the wrong one is it yeah, that must be the wrong one. But firstly, you got to put these two up because these two are the ones that you're going to connect to. Hey guys, sorry. Let me just apologize for a second. What I said makes no sense. Um, this is because my knowledge of RAM back then was kind of kind of trash. So now, um, since I know a lot more, I'm going to just quickly explain to you what I basically am um, supposed to do. So when you have a RAM stick, first you got to check if it's uh, compatible with your motherboard. So you have to check whether you're buying a DDR4 or DDR3 or DDR2 or DD uh, in general. But um, let's say if in my case, it's a DDR4. So the motherboard, as you can see here, this is an example. This is basically Z370E, which kind of is the same thing as Z370F. Um, but it's just a different layout. It's like a little differences that are there, but there's not so many. Basically, if you look at the top right, which I will zoom in into now, you can see that there are four DDR4. Um, uh, DDR slots, DDR4 slots, as you can see there's B1, B2, A1, A2. Now if you look at the instruction manual in the ma motherboard, it says that you could, uh, the preferred one or the, well the recommended one is so that you put A2 and B2. That's if you have two AGB RAM. Uh, a, if you have two AGB uh, DDR4 RAM, which will make us a total of 16 GB. But if you have one, you could put them anywhere you want, uh, B1, B2, A1, A2, it doesn't really matter, as long as it just goes there. But um, sometimes it might give you a recommended one, so let's say you're using 32 gigabytes, um, well, you're just going to have to put them in any, any way you want, because either way, either way, they're going to have to go in uh, all the slots. So it doesn't matter which way you put it, all that matters is um, what RAM you have and if it's compatible with your motherboard, so make sure to check that before you do anything. Now, what you're going to do is, I'm putting it wrong, it's supposed to be this way, you're going to plug this in just like that and you're gonna hear a click oh boy there you are that's the click right there I'll refresh this because I can't see it that's the click and the second RAM slot goes to the back over here and you're gonna do the same thing same exact thing guys push it in a little bit Oh, oh crap, I almost did it the wrong way around. It's supposed to be this way. 
Um, where is the other part? There you are. Snap. There you go. They're both in place. Both the ramps are in place. So that's perfectly fine and perfectly great. So the motherboard is actually done. Realistically, we're, we're done with the motherboard. So what you got to do now is actually get to the other part, which uh, is put the IO shield on the case first. And then we got to put the screws on the, uh, the motherboard onto the case. That is what we got to do. Okay, let me just quickly clean up first. I'll get back to the next part. Uh, see you guys there.